Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we have another set of Eras Tour shows to recap. Travis Kelsey surprising Taylor Swift at the Eras Tour. Maybe, maybe not. The celebrity, AA list celebrities that were in attendance this weekend. And then of course all the surprise song shows to sing. So let's jump right in to I think the the biggest story of the weekend, which was that it appeared as if Travis Kelsey surprised Taylor Swift during Sunday night's show in Dublin, the final night of the Dublin run of shows. Travis obviously was in London the weekend prior for all three nights. He then apparently, according to our information that we saw in social media, he then flew back to the States to actually attend the wedding of a Chiefs player, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, who got married, I guess, over the weekend. He went to his wedding. He was also seen leaving a private members club in Los Angeles. There were some reports about how he was there, in quotes, with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tristan Thompson, which... I have to imagine that he just happened to be at the same place as Tristan Thompson and Leonardo DiCaprio because I cannot see in any world those three people hanging out together. Like maybe Tristan and Travis or maybe Travis and Leo, but I cannot see Leo, Tristan Thompson, who, by the way, if people don't know who that is, that is Khloe Kardashian's baby daddy, um, NBA player who has had, uh, let's just say like not the best track record when it comes to women and dating. Um, So anyway, that was just like a weird story. And so it seemed like Travis wasn't going to be making it back to Europe because he was again in the States for a wedding. But then all of a sudden, Sunday, he pops up at the Eras tour and he and Ross, his best friend Ross, walked into the stadium like during the show. I think, I wanna say she was already in the Evermore folklore um, set when, when they arrived. So they literally must have gotten off the plane and went straight to the concert. And there is a really adorable video of Taylor Swift seeming, seemingly realizing that Travis was in the VIP tent. Like she genuinely seems shocked. She kind of looks over to the VIP tent and her face just like lights up. She she genuinely seemed surprised and shocked to see him, which was very, very sweet. I, I have to imagine that she knew he was coming back to Europe, but maybe she didn't think he would make the show in time. I don't know. Regardless, it was very sweet. And Travis was in the VIP tent with one Miss Stevie Nicks, queen icon legend, and also Julia Roberts. And there is this really cute video of Julia Roberts and Travis hugging, embracing. And then Julia is kind of scratching (laughs) Travis, almost like a massage type of thing. Um, They just, they seem, it doesn't, it didn't seem like the first time they were meeting, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It felt like, oh, these people know each other. We also, I don't know if um, we discussed this on this show, but Julia has talked about in the past, like previous interviews, uh, she 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 mentioned she watched the Netflix show Quarterback, which obviously featured Patrick Mahomes and um, how it, it made her such a big fan of Patrick Mahomes. And so I have to imagine, too, that Julia is a football fan and probably also very much admires Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs. But that whole interaction was just very cute, very sweet. And then there was the great video of Taylor and Travis leaving the stadium together after the show, kind of arm in arm. There's a a moment where they're both waving to all the fans and Travis is hyping up the crowd, asking them to cheer louder for Taylor. And then there's a moment where he kind of puts his hands up to sort of present Taylor and everyone sort of freaks out and Taylor kind of gives him a look of like, oh my God, like, but she was obviously very touched by it. I don't know. It was just very, very, very cute. And this is a perfect example. Travis flying all the way back to Ireland, to Europe to be with Taylor is the perfect example of if he wanted to, he would. If he wanted to, he would. When men make up excuses about why they can't do things, that's all just talk. Because when someone really cares about somebody else and is really invested and loves somebody, they will put in the time and effort it it, it takes to see them. And Travis is doing that. Travis has a busy schedule. He has a busy life. He's a busy man. And Taylor is very busy too. And they've both shown 
over the course of their relationship, how committed they are to each other and how they're willing to do crazy things to, to see people. I mean, Travis obviously flying to see her over the weekend, Taylor making that very crazy journey back to uh, Vegas for the Super Bowl after performing a full weekend in Japan. Like they are just, they are very committed to each other, which I think is so great. And so I now have to assume they're going to spend this next week together. I believe Taylor's next run of shows are in the Netherlands, I want to say. Let me just double check that because I don't want to be wrong about that. But I do feel like, um, I do think that her next chunk, yeah, her next chunk of shows are in the Netherlands, and then she plays in Switzerland as well, um, which sounds lovely. Sounds like a very fun place to go. And then she heads to um, Italy, Germany. So again, just continuing on with her European her European adventures. Let's jump into the surprise songs that she sang over the weekend. Um, starting off with Night One, she does a mashup of State of Grace and You're On Your Own Kid. She loves, I feel like You're On Your Own Kid and Maroon are two of the songs that she loves to mash up with other songs the most, which not mad about because great songs. Um, I love State of Grace. That's one of my favorite songs off of Red. I feel like it's pretty underrated. And then she did Sweet Nothing mixed with Hoax. I have to admit something. I'm not the biggest fan of either of those two songs. So for me, I feel like, well, I guess I should read the other two, two nights, but um, I'm not upset that I wasn't there for that for that mashup. The next night she does the Albatross, which I really like that song off of TTPD. Um, and she kind of mixed it in with Dancing With Her Hands Tied, another great song. And then she did a mashup of This Love and Ours, which is great because in the song, uh, in the song Ours, she sings This Love Is Ours. And so the fact that she then mashed up the song Ours with the song This Love, this love, ours. Um, I don't. I assume that she did that on purpose, but I thought that was great, and I, I love both of those songs. So that's definitely one that I would have wanted to be there for. But then on the final night in Dublin, again the night where Travis was there, Julia Roberts, Stevie Nicks shouldn't have been a surprise. She performed Clara Bow, a song in which she name checks. Stevie Nicks, uh, and then also mixes it up with some elements of The Lucky One, which is um, another great song. And kind of the messaging of both of those songs is kind of similar. And then she once again performs You're On Your Own Kid. And Taylor actually said that she was performing that for Stevie Nicks, because I guess that's a, Stevie Nicks's favorite songs. So, I mean, what Stevie Nicks wants, Stevie Nicks gets, as she should. So those were the Dublin... Uh, Eras tour shows sounded like a great time, a great weekend. Again, if I had to pick a night to go to, I mean, I probably would have picked the third night just because Julia, Stevie, Travis were all there. Um, but honestly, maybe the second night too. I don't know. Let me know in, in the comments which night you would have preferred to attend because at the end of the day, they're all great and they're all fun. And I want to go to every single Taylor Swift basically at this point. Um, <laughs> so that is kind of the Taylor Swift recap for right now. Again, like I said, she's off for a few days. She performs on July 4th in the Netherlands. So maybe we'll get some other people. I keep on talking about the Mahomeses and like how I keep thinking they're going to be at a show and they are in, they still are in Europe. They're still traveling Europe. So I think, again, it's only a matter of time before they're there. Maybe they'll be there over the weekend in the Netherlands. Maybe they'll go to the Switzerland shows. I mean, who knows? We will, I'm, I'm sure, soon find out. But I, I'm really excited for the, uh, the Patrick and Brittany Eras tour experience because I feel like they're both going to really go hard in the paint. They're going to be like fully invested, just locked. Um, but as always, let me know in the comments if I missed something, forgot to talk about something. I will try to get to it later in the week. As always, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.